This is the story of a boy named Haminuddin. Haminuddin comes from a large family and had to live with his grandpa and grandma. They lived near a rubber plantation and his grandpa was a rubber tapper. Every weekend, Haminuddin would follow his grandpa to the plantation and help out with the work. It was during these innocent childhood days that Haminuddin's destiny was written. Haminuddin grew up into a bright and clever student. His childhood clearly left a mark on him. For when it was time to further his education, he went to the UK to study rubber research. He came back to Malaysia in 1974 to work with large multinational companies. From an apprentice, he rose to the position of Regional Sales Director at Baxter in a career spanning 23 years. In 1996, driven by his entrepreneurial spirit, he formed a small company trading in imported disposable products for the medical industry. However, the timing for his venture was bad. The Asian financial crisis struck in 1997. Businesses were crashing all around him. But this rubber tapper's grandson was able to survive and would become a leading manufacturer of medical devices in Malaysia. Oleh kerana kegawatan ekonomi tahun 97-98, semua bisnes merudum. Kami baru mula. Yang itu situ saya lihat tadi ya contoh yang saya beri waktu saya import barang harga pertukaran dolar 2.3 2.3 perkegawatan dia menjadi melonjak sampai 4.3 margin kita untuk buat bisnes dah tak ada langsung jadi kalau kita teruskan import barang jual di Malaysia memang uh, choice yang tak bagus lah saya rasa masa tu apa yang kita buat mula daripada 96 bagus 97, 98 banyak yang belum tiga tapi saya survive kerana mungkin ada pengalaman bekerja dengan syarikat sebelum tu 23 tahun itu membuat saya teringin nak membuat sendiri dan jual barang itulah ya, permulaan saya tahun 1999 in the early days, Haminuddin received a helping push when he was given an incubator unit at SME Bank's factory premises in Sungai Petani, Kedah. He did very well and soon outgrew the small premises. Selepas itu, saya lihat bisnes itu berkembang, kembang pengembang dan tempat yang disediakan oleh bank itu adalah terlalu limit, kecil. Dan saya bercadang waktu itu, kata, okey lah, kita buka kilang sendiri dan berjumpa dengan SME Bank. SME Bank kata, kita belajar dulu kata, macam mana nak buat bisnes. Dan dia, dia, saya pergi kursus, lah, kursus Kim Latihan Usahawan Bumi Putra tahun 2001, tak sahab saya. 2001 saya pergi dan waktu itu dia belajarlah segala benda bagaimana nak memperbaiki cara uh, bisnes yang betul. Uh, terutama sekali yang saya masih ingatlah di, diajari untuk buat business plan. Kalau business plan tu tak elok, rasa tak eloklah business. In 2006, SME Bank extended financing of 2.7 million ringgit for his business expansion. A second financing of 1.3 million ringgit further increased capacity and growth. From a staff of three, his company now employs up to 120 people in different roles. And he has plans to double his workforce and quadruple his production capacity in the near future to meet increasing demand. Uh, saya nak menimba pengalaman selama 23 tahun dan saya ada modal sedikit, saya mula niaga. Jadi dari situlah saya rasa uh, minat timbul bila benda bisnes itu menjadi, minat itu bertambah, bertambah, bertambah. Jadi dia satu dorongan bagi anak-anak muda kalau kita ada minat, pilihlah meniaga apa pun boleh jadi.